is of yours. Right now we're back here for a Yu-Gi-Oh! Rulings video. I thought this would be very interesting since since I'm playing more Dev Pro, I'm playing more on my locals. And yeah, and there are a few things that do pop up that leave you questioning. Can I do that? Can my opponent do that? How will this work? You know what I mean? But yeah, but uh, yeah, but that's that's basically basically the gist of it. And yeah, and, and I kind of want to dig deep into this one. You know what I'm saying? So, what happened? I was on my locals, and, and I was playing against my opponent. He was playing tunes, I believe. I believe that was him. So, so he had, so he had a face-up Imperial Iron Wall on the field. And then, and then I went on and activated a Lore of Darkness. Real quick, for those of you that don't know, in prayer on Iron Wall, uh, it lets, uh, it's basically no cards can, no cards cannot be banished. So nothing can be banished. And a lore lets me draw two cards and then banish a dark monster from my hand. Or else, or if I don't, or if I don't have a dark, I, I discard my whole hand to a graveyard. So in my mindset, I'm thinking, well, since Iron Wall is in play, I'll just activate a Lord of Darkness, draw two, and guess what? I can't banish because of his Imperial Iron Wall. So basically, a Lord to me was basically like a pot of greed, basically. So I thought to myself, so so me and my opponent talked over, and, and he said it was cool because it sounds right. But but I don't know, but but so but when I got home. I looked it up so I get I actually know the exact ruling on on a Lord Darkness versus Imperial Iron Wall. So here it is. If Imperial Iron Wall is face up on the field, you cannot attempt to activate a Lord of Darkness because there's an effect in that card that that banishes a card. So yeah, so yeah, so basically uh, I cheated and I didn't even know. But now I know. So in the future, I don't do that. So yeah, so yeah, so if Iron Wall is face up, uh, no one can play a Lord of Darkness because because Iron Wall prevents that. So what if Imperial Iron Wall is chained to the activation of a Lord of Darkness? Like let's say you play a Lord, then Iron Wall is chained. Obviously by chain links, Iron Wall will resolve first. Then a lore. Does a lore become negated? Here's a ruling on this, apparently, uh, due to the website, due to Wikia or, or, or whatever it's called these days. Um, so a lore will still get activated. You draw two cards. Of course, if you, if you don't have a dark, you, you will still discard your whole hand. But let's say you do have a dark because Iron Wall doesn't let you that banished cards, but a lore was already activated. So at that point, what you would do is simply reveal a dark from your hand to your opponent. That's it. All you do is reveal it to your opponent that you have it. But to be fair, uh, why would you want to iron wall against a lore darkness? To be fair, like, 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 uh, like, do you not want them to banish a card from their hand? I mean, I don't know about you, but I kind of want that unless they're playing some kind of crazy deck that 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 actually benefits them from having banished cards. But <laughs> but other than that, yeah. So to close out, if Iron Wall is already face up on the field, a Lord of Darkness cannot be activated. If Iron Wall is chained to the activation of a Lord of Darkness, the player who activated a Lord of Darkness can still draw two cards, but must reveal the Dark Monster in their hand in order for them to not to discard their entire hand. Of course, the, of, of course, since they can't banish from their hand because of Iron Wall, uh, they have to just simply reveal, and then, and then the game moves on. That's basically the ruling. So yeah, so, yeah, so if I would have known that, uh, I won't have unintentionally misplayed in the game because 
that was honestly a ruling I didn't know about. And I found this very interesting because as you play the game, either online or in person, yeah, yeah, there will be a lot of rulings that you won't know. But as you're playing, you will learn. And the more you learn this game, the better you will become. So yeah, so there you go. A lower darkness versus Imperial Iron Wall. Now you know how that fight goes on between those two. Just just in case you yourself play in person and run into that same situation as I did. So, don't do what I did. My opponent had a face up Iron Wall and I did a lower darkness. Draw two. That's it. Didn't vanish, didn't reveal nothing. Now you know. Now you know if Iron Wall is in play, you can't use a lore. And if, uh, and if uh, sorry, and if Iron if Iron Wall, uh, and if Iron Wall is chained to a lore, you may still draw two cards. Just simply reveal a dark and move on. All right, guys. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos. I'm Renova. Have a good day, and keep on playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Keep on learning, and I'm pretty sure I'll do some more ruling videos because I find these very interesting to know in the game. Peace.